But yeah, we got a few unpopular opinions, y'all. We got a little list of them. I stole a few of them from Troy's TV, but we gonna rock out with our cock out. Let's get into it. Get in, I want a nigga. Make him pay for it. Boy, you stuck, stuck, stutter like you can't afford it. Send him money, send him white nigga, transport it. Ass you can when I walk, so he can't ignore it. Y'all, I do not like when dudes be wearing them little ski masks and stuff, walking into places and stuff like that. Like, that is not cute. It's really giving you finna rob me. And don't come and try to talk to me because that's not appealing at all. I do not think Doja Cat is worshiping the devil or anything like that that y'all think she got going on. I honestly think she either having like a midlife crisis or like a life rebranding. But I do not think that lady is worshiping the devil. I think we doing a little too much with that one. I think they need to bring back to catch a predator because I feel like there's a lot of creepy people in this world. And I feel like why did they even stop the show? Because some predators wanted to sue <laughs> Chris Hansen. When that whole thing was going around where everybody was talking about date a bus driver, I thought it was so funny. Cause I'm like, have y'all ever been on the bus? I honestly been on the bus multiple times. And I still say I would not date no guy who drive the bus because I just feel like we're where is your aspirations? Like the woman said, I'm going to date you if you own the bus. Or like the other lady said, I'm going to date you if you love the bus. I feel like it got to be one of those two things. If it's not, why would I want to mess with you? You just sad, lonely, driving the bus. At the summer of 2022 was a light-skinned summer, y'all. Everybody was popping out that summer. We had Glorilla, Ice Spice, Mariah the Scientist, Lola Brooke. Like, all these light-skinned girls were just popping out, getting famous, one after the other. TikTok shit. Y'all, I feel like nobody talks about it, and we need to talk about it, because Nicki Minaj tried to blackball Lotto, y'all. <laughs> It's delusional to say that other girls are flourishing. That also, oh, okay. Purposely trying not to understand what I'm saying. You don't even understand what you're saying because. No, I know exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it was you running shit for a long time. I never said that you're no longer running shit. I, I feel like nobody really talks about it because Nicki Minaj kind of played the situation in her favor. But the whole thing broke out because Nicki Minaj wasn't happy that her that she didn't get put in the rap category category and that lotto did but i just feel like Nicki minaj really played that whole situation wrong she really called that girl out called her a karen and i feel like after this ain't nobody gonna want to work with lotto unless they got beef with Nicki. so yeah i feel like Nicki minaj not only tried but she kind of did blackball lotto i feel like a lot of y'all stopped reading when y'all graduated high school or when y'all got to college and I don't think that's cute at all. Y'all you really need to pick up a book. Y'all, I love the Little Mermaid movie. Like, I, 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 obviously, y'all can see by my hair because, you know, part of that world. But, like, y'all, the Little Mermaid movie is so good. It's good. It has a lot of representation. You not only see black people and white people, you see brown people and Asian people, just people of all different colors mingling together under the sea. It's a really good movie, and I'm going to tell my kids that was the real Little Mermaid. Y'all, that Scarface girl who was rapping to that sausage, I do not mess with any of it. I did not think it was cute. I did not like any of it. I was like, why is she rapping to that sausage? And nothing she was saying made sense to me. She was just like, I'm from New York. I'm not finna tell a nigga good morning. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't, I, I didn't really get any of it. And then the fact that people were saying she got signed, I'm like, okay, maybe she got other songs that's hidden or something like that. Because that whole rapping to the sausage talking about she from New York, it was it was not given at all. I honestly and truly feel like we, we as a society, we hate gay people, y'all. And you can say we don't, but we truly do. And I feel like a lot of people are like, gay people always have to make everything about them and make everything this and be so entitled and talk about this and talk about that and make this about... No, no, it is so many different people that make up the gay community while y'all over here talking about gay people do this and gay people do that. It is entitled people in every group of people, but it's like, as soon as the entitled gay people speak up, everybody's like, shut up gay people. Next one y'all, that teacher, that uh, that girl was pepper spraying, y'all seen that video? No. Can I get my phone? Over the phone is crazy. But yeah, I do not know why that teacher was literally trying to still take that girl phone while she pepper spraying him. You don't know what's going on in somebody's life. Why are you trying to take that phone so motherfucking hard? To the point where you're getting pepper sprayed. Some of y'all teachers is need to sit the fuck down. And I feel like I have never seen like a black teacher do no shit like that. 
because they know better. <laughs> and this man talk about he been punched, he been pepper spray working at that school. It's your fault. Leave people alone. That's what y'all need to learn. Y'all in the position of power and think you can just tell people what to do and do this, do that. No, sit the fuck down and do your job. Teach. I feel like at our grown age, we need to grow up and realize our trauma and realize the way our parents raised us and why we act certain ways. And we need to find ways to not only fight it, I would say, if it's a toxic thing that we're doing, but we need to find ways to mend it and to make us feel better and to speak it out with other people. I don't know, maybe get a therapist, but I don't know, talk to your friends about it. I'm just saying we just need to grow up and realize all the trauma and all the things that we done went through and why our brain worked the way it worked. I feel like a lot of people need to forgive or forget their parents. I feel like you come to a point in your life where you be like, okay, this person is the person who raised me and I love them, but am I gonna keep being treated like this? If I don't have to be treated like this, I'm a grown adult. And you realize like, yeah, okay, I'm not finna mess with this person for my own sanity, for my own safety, for my own peace of mind, and then feel like that. And then some of y'all out there, y'all need to talk to y'all parents about what made y'all feel some kind of way or talk to yourself about what made you feel some kind of way. And then you need to mend that relationship with your parents and realize what kind of person they is and what you're dealing with if you're gonna keep talking to them. Y'all, I feel like DDG is kind of a clown. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like it is a little bit goofy to be for me to like say something about somebody relationship who I really don't know too much about. But the way everything is portrayed on the media, it is not looking cute at all. I don't care if you got a YouTube channel and you really make money just giving very much goofy and selfish because why would you act like this when the biggest thing in my life is going on? It's bigger than DDG, it's bigger than her, it is bigger than everybody and he taking it for a joke. Just remember when I was little and it wasn't no black Disney princesses and they came out with Princess and the Frog and I went to go see the Princess and the Frog and I was so happy. I feel like that Passport Bros thing is kind of icky not all the way icky but i do feel like it's kind of icky those american women they want a career they want to be the ceo you know what i want i want a woman that's going to care more about the family than about the pocketbook and other american men want it too and that's why i got me a ugandan queen it's okay if you want to just go to a different country and find you a submissive woman and whatnot do that but if you gonna come to this country whatnot and bring this woman back to this back to america and whatnot where she see the life she could have have and whatnot i feel like that's kind of evil i feel like it's evil because a lot of these men are taking these women from their countries and bringing them back to america to be their own little housewives that they couldn't find in america i don't know i just feel like at some point this woman is gonna realize all the freedom and opportunity that is around her and she gonna want to ditch your ass or she gonna want to have her own and a nigga is gonna be mad about that is my thing did y'all see that thing with chica on the on the plane with the babies and stuff like that y'all basically she like an influencer and she made this po by how these babies what whatnot were crying on the plane and irritating the hell out of her and then she didn't even know that the parents were actually i guess famous so they ended up tweeting her back like girl what and y'all she was saying the most rudest things about these babies like the most craziest things and i think this i think this girl is really like crazy like she tried to cover it up with her mental illness i'm like no and people who try to cover up things that they say with their mental illness afterwards it's giving red flag because what why is that what you had to say once people call you out you gotta say oh i was having a mental breakdown i was dot 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 i was this this that like no girl i don't want to hear any of that you had all that to say about some little ass kids like it's giving kind of evil uh, is it just me or i feel like it is an adhd epidemic i don't know everybody in their mama identify as adhd or be like oh i'm adhd da, 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 da. i just honestly feel like okay like most of y'all be self-diagnosing y'all self and it's not cute another thing the whole empath thing like bro if you walk up to me and be like oh i'm an empath like i'm literally red flag like get the hell out of my face empath honestly i feel like most of y'all be lying when y'all be like i can feel all the emotions in the room i'm like you're really doing too much you're really making me mad because like and first of all if you are an empath why do you need to tell me that anyways that's all for the unpopular opinions period like comment and subscribe I'm loving the crew. You know it's game time, you hear that bass line? Yeah, some bitches just look about you. Hey.